And this time around, mm -hmm. we'll make sure that the full weight of the law mm -hmm. bears on those culprits who, for some reason, uh, without responsibility, are not taking care of uh, what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Thank okay, you. Um, thank you very much. Um, and that will bring me to the police PRO, Mr. Yarombaro. Um, uh, Mr. Sisi has said in some very important things that have um, some links to your own department as the police. Um, this, uh, these companies have been suspended from producing this liquid, that's Jaya Selena and Prime Fine Beverage Manufacturing Companies. Um, can you tell us what is the stand of the police as at now? And if you can tell us also um, what has been the crime rate uh, with regards to the youth folk of this country of the recent past when these um, tutor packs have been produced and been sold at the subs for a minimum amount of $3 or even less than that. Some are even selling them at $2, to, um, two dollars, which is, of course, affecting the youth of this country. So, um, Thank you very much, Ndai Buso. Um, on behalf of the Inspector General of Police, I want to thank everybody down there. He is very concerned about <coughs> this uh, issue. Um, this is why even yesterday, you know, he instructed me to write a press release and uh, um, bring it here. He is equally concerned, like other ministries, like the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. um, it is a concern because um, the people involved in this uh, um, LICO is the youth folk, and those are the future leaders of this country. Now, if we allow, we sit back and allow those um, taking over from us to be using this until they lose their minds, it means you no, know, we have failed them. So this is why, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, you know, the, the police are standing by them, and we are giving them all the backups that they need. Um, LICO, as we know, if taken, it may cause that person to lose his mind. And if you lose your mind, of course, you, you, you are bound to do anything mm -hmm. criminal. And uh, even, okay, like if you are, for instance, addicted to it, and unfortunately you don't, you don't have the money to, to, to buy, mm -hmm. you may do something else at all costs mm -hmm. to, to, to get this liquor. So it's a very, con you know, concerned thing to the Inspector General of Police, and uh, we, we definitely stand, we are standing by the, the Ministry of Health to make sure that, you know, um, what uh, is required in uh, this uh, uh, production of this uh, product mm -hmm. is uh, comply with or else we will take that thing action against them. Okay, um, I've been joined by the um, executive director, the uh, National Youth Council. But before you come, I think I will give Mrs. Uh, Fanta Baiseka, who is the director of social welfare. Um, Mrs. Seka, socially, this thing has so many implications with the youth folk and ex um, even the, uh, the parents. And as a parent, I think um, you are very much concerned on this issue. I'm working um, at the social welfare too that will also give you like a very big concern on the issue of this total park. What exactly is your office doing to make sure that this thing is stopped with immediate effect? Thank you very much, Ndai. Um, as you uh, rightly said, social <coughs> welfare is responsible for protection of children. And as you know, the uh, uh, Gambia has a very uh, high youthful population. Mm -hmm. And um, free accessibility of such products to children will really hamper their growth and also would um, prevent us creating a child-friendly environment mm -hmm. of which the Gambia is known for. And um, to be honest, and I, my pledge will be to the parents, and I'll speak in the vernacular language to mm -hmm. appeal on the parents. Um, my social welfare. She to the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare. Mm. <laughs> So they can use new buy because the uh, age of criminal responsibility is at the age of 12. Mm -hmm. So so they can go again and then stop leaning to stop them. Go how they tell me you didn't know you didn't go there for the dinner is a problem. You cry me in your army. Hey, he had problem. You carry me in a young cliff. I didn't know you see me. You walk a cookie and a colleague. Then you are some honey. Okay. Um, Jerry and Jeff. Um, 
fanta bay li nga wara fetna trop comme li nek an lo xamne sangara la te ñu ko jaay ci biti gi nek an lo xamne tamit am du xalé rek la sonal parce que am suñu yaay tam dinañ dem ci marché bi ñu fokko vinegar gis ngeen nim men nuruna vinegar trop dik vinegar exactly ni la menti ni lañ ko jaay ci marché bi amna ñu bëre ñi nga xamne ñu ko jëna diko jaxasi ak vinegar pour rek ngeen gëna bay xel ci li ngeen di jëna ci marché bi fok nañ ne dina gëna wañé ko parce que uh, government of the gambia jël na step bi pour ban company si nga xamne ñoko liggéey waye tam ñu gëna bay suñu xel nak parce que already gën na ci marché bi ñu xol nak ala ñu gëna bay suñu xel su ko rafé nak um, in this case i will uh, invite the executive secretary de uh, youth and sports mr marcel mende um, your office is directly dealing with youth matters when it comes to um, this issue also i guess um, the youth uh, council also is doing so many things to make sure that this thing is put to a stop and um, as a youth you're also a youth what do you think um, youths will do at this trend of the time yes um, thank you so much Ndebu. so um, i just want to first of all start by um, making it very clear here that um, this is not a crusade against mm -hmm. um, selling of alcohol mm -hmm. uh, but instead it's a crusade um, it's a struggle against the way it is mm -hmm. being packaged I think that is fundamental here everybody has got to understand mm -hmm. that it is not actually a fight against um, the production of mm -hmm. alcohol or mm -hmm. selling alcohol mm -hmm. in this country uh, we are all very much concerned about the way it is being packaged um, the way it is being sold mm -hmm. and that is why um, we're coming out to partner as institutions responsible institutions of the government of the Gambia for that matter because um, we all are very much aware of the fact that it is being done the way it is being sold and all that um, it is very much being made available to young people because if you imagine this is being sold at three dollars every young person has access to it and um, that is why all the more the reason why we are so much worried about that uh, because we've got evidence we've gotten evidence of young people even school children mm -hmm. you know making use of this even getting drunk and all that you see we've also gotten evidence of young people making use of this and as a result being involved in crime and all that so that is why we thought it is um, overwhelmingly important that we come out as institutions uh, to talk about this issue to inform parents to inform guardians about this so that um, we could as a nation uh, work towards ensuring that um, um, we have the best that we want for our children. I mm -hmm. think that is very, very important. And uh, having said that, I just want to take this opportunity to commend government, mm -hmm. uh, the Ministry of Social Welfare, the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and of course my own office, the National Youth Council, for having come together to discuss and agree as to uh, what we think is really the best for the young people of this country. Young people of this country constitute about 63.7% of our population, and therefore uh, that speaks volumes about the need for us to protect them, because these young people eventually will take over the reins of this country and uh, we would not like um, the hard and uh, prosperity and mm -hmm. uh, development of this country to go down the rain someday mm -hmm. and um, that is why um, it is important that we come together as a party as um, as, as um, people of this country as patriotic citizens of this country to see how best we could stop this i really think this is a good move um, it is a move in the right direction um, it's just up to the people people have got to understand like i said earlier on that um, it is not a crusade against the production of alcohol after all i am a christian myself mm -hmm. so i just want um, everybody to understand it in that light and help us you know to succeed in this struggle because it is a struggle uh, for the interest of everybody okay um thank you very much uh, marcel mendy um, um here i go with uh, Mr. Douglas again, who is the Director of Planning and Information at the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare. Mr. Sisi, this is uh, under your department, that's uh, Planning and Information, and I guess uh, that's exactly what you are doing, getting the information known to every Gambian. Um, briefly, in Vanakula, maybe in Mandinka, if you can, um, to tell uh, it to our uh, uh, Mandinka listeners, maybe, for them to also benefit from what we are seeing concerning this Tuta Park. <coughs> Abarka, um, Badi Lamoy Lalu, uh, Ntelaka Dia Mali, Daure Sise, the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, until the director of Memarta Pero Landinala, and in Kibaru Dina, mm -hmm. uh, Nana Kumobi, Jang Wolam Nintiko, Ka Badi will be Kalamutandi, Woming Yalonka, Lankanema, and you watching Kono, Nanyat Lingala and the mayor of the Jata Kendian in Hadama Diala, Carol, Walaketa, a Mim Femalti, a Mosaf called Dolom Drum, maybe Nyatling Lajam, Dolomum, who let him make a new bank income. 
andu manna nyin kamala ko ka ko na tawo kele 